What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're doing some more Hack the Box, Cyber Apocalypse, Capture the Flag. Let's dive into it. We don't want to waste any time here. So I'll hop over to my computer screen. I've got the interface set up in my little uh, Cyber Apocalypse and JH party. Thanks again, Hack the Box, for letting me do this. So we're moving on to the E-Tree challenge in the web category. Um, let's check out the information here. It says, after many years where humans work on the alien commands, they've been gradually given access to some management applications. Can you hack this alien employee directory web app and contribute to the greater human rebellion let's do it uh it looks like it has a downloadable part and a docker instance so i will go ahead and start up this instance they'll give me an ip address and a port that i'll go ahead and copy and open up in a new tab there we go all right here is the employee directory get information on the military staff that maintain this district uh, John Doe looks like a placeholder value. Um, let's go ahead and download that data before we get cruising here. And we'll see what this thing is made up of. I'll make a directory for eTree. Head over there. And um, let's move the downloads web eTree. Did they put it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's uh, go ahead and unzip that. So we know what we're up against. Oh, we have a military.xml file. And there we go. Looks like this is data that it might end up using with district ID all confidential, 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 confidential with the name of the individual, the age, rank, and the kills. Fantastic. That's not extremely helpful. There is another district ID confidential. Okay, just another one there. But, oh, that has a self-destruct code with part of a flag and it's the fake flag again just a placeholder but looks like that is just a portion okay there's another fragment down here the second half for a different self-destruct code uh, for testing gotcha what does this do if i hop back over here searching for john doe tells me this military staff member doesn't exist can I search for that confidential string? Military staff member doesn't exist. What? What the heck does exist? Can I use like a wildcard sort of thing? Like a percent sign or asterisk? No, none of these. There are no entries that I would be able to return. So is there like a CHTB? No. Let me try to kind of see what's going on. I'll hit F12 again to open up my network tab in the developer tools. So when I send a request, I guess like anything, this runs search. Looks like a, an API call that we post to. And search is just passed in as JSON as that, that is, that's what we supply. Okay. The response is gonna return out JSON. Is this something that I can take advantage of? Can I abuse this? Like, is there going to be some sort of injection here? How's this managed, like a database? I'll try to send like a single quote. Hello? Computer? F12 again. If I send that, oh, that dies. LXML eTree XPath eval error. Oh, this looks like a debug response yeah this is like a flask yeah python flask python 2 guys what you <laughs> what are you doing i'm just kidding i mean i know for a capture the flag sometimes it's, it's necessary so if this is doing some xml tree logic with an x path can i like leak somewhere with that it gets a server error can i do like an or one equals one sort of thing no, that fails. Do I close that? What if I add another or in there? Or A equals something with another single quote? Oh! Oh, that returned something. That said it, it did exist because of my or one equals one. Or like an A equals whatever. So that, that or A equals anything that gets filled in should fail but my or one equals one will succeed. So if I change that to an or one equals two, does that fail? That does fail. Okay, so again, some 
logic boolean blind thing that we're going to end up doing we f if we can't get any data all we get is the error message true or false it exists or it doesn't exist then i guess we have some blind xpath injection um can i do like a payloads all the things it, do they have anything for xpath check out their github xpath injection yeah 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 Blind exploitation, that sounds good. Um, you can use a string. Starts, what is it, what is this? We just did this sort of thing, or one equals one, and the string kind of adds it in. Are these like random comment structures? I wanna be able to like get a specific field though like I want the self-destruct code do I reference one of those extract a character substring of maybe I could use the starts with to see if it has that flag format but I want to I want to reference one specific thing Uh, oh, I closed the instance. Crap. Where is it? Let's get to that. So, I should script this, actually. We should probably start to uh, fumble around. Let's create an attempt.py. Let's get our shebang line in there. Get requests going, because we know we're doing some web stuff. Um, the URL is this, good. And that post request that we send off actually gets to search on API search, yeah? So r, or request, r equals, let, let's store it as a variable. Let's post to that URL with the API search, and then the data that we need to supply should be that parameter search. Will it take that just fine? Like search equals, let's try that or one equals one setup. Let's do an or one equals one, and then we'll let the single quote following it actually finish it. If I print out, r.text, what do we get? Uh, that failed. What? I got an error message. What? <laughs> this is like a work zone debug. How do we get to the console? I didn't want to get to the console. What's happening? None type has no attribute get. Oh, does it need it as like a JSON object? Can I pass in JSON like that with requests? I can. Okay, so I just switched the data keyword argument to a, a JSON so that can pass it in. Now I get that does exist because we are using a valid test there. Now I can get it to not exist. This member does not exist if I turn that to a false test. So there's our logic, but I wanna be able to retrieve like a specific field. Can I do like empty string or uh, how do we use it? Can we use starts with? Starts with needs a string. Uh, forward slash forward slash is how I can access it. Self-destruct code is kind of what we're looking for. So what follows that as an argument should be a C, capital C, right? For CHTB, the flag format. So it will terminate a single quote and it 
might terminate a parentheses, maybe? Will we get a true response to this? No, we get an error. Fantastic. Um, how can I get a specific field? XPath, XPath injection cheat sheet. What do you got for me? Oh, Hacktrix has some good stuff. What do you got? Hacktrix is always handy. Select all the nodes with the name node name. Selects from the root node. Selects nodes in the document from the current node that match the selection no matter where they are. That sounds good. I think the slash slash is kind of what we need. But... to self-destruct code just doesn't exist. I'm confused. What does that, how does that do? All names. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. String extraction. It doesn't return out for me, which is a pain. Do I use just a single forward slash to get a true statement? No, that still doesn't exist. Can I do an or? Invalid predicate, invalid predicate. Now, I don't know if I'm actually getting that injection in or not because I'm not positive how it queries it. What if I did an and? No, still invalid predicate. How is it requesting this? I'm not too strong in XPath, so I'm kind of just fumbling around, I'll admit. Find path, username, user text equals. Those are defenses. No, I want to know how to beat it up. Live learning, everybody. Oh, here they do a thing. They use an ID. No, I want to subscribe to your newsletter. Starts with. Do they just use starts with like right out? That errored for me previously. So, what were those square braces? Is there a starts with, start with? No. Mm -mm -mm. I want to use that starts with because that I think will let me like s determine how and what characters might follow. They don't showcase it. Oh, here's a payload. Now, this is just the exact same payloads, all the things. Starts with one entry. What if we used an or and a starts with self-destruction code? That's it. Self-destruct code. Yeah. And starts with a C. 
That gets the eval predicate. Oh, I have, uh, can I do an or following that after to six? Ooh, oh, that works. So I, I just cleaned the end kind of on my own. I just added, I closed that predicate or the little function call, I guess, with starts with, and then added another or. So the or empty string and the original or empty string will fail, but this starts with C will return a true statement. Now, if I change that to a different letter, it does fail. Okay. Cool. So we could start, I guess, to find characters now. Let's import string. Uh, let's do printable. Let's just do string printable to start kind of with broad strokes. Let's start with a while true. Uh, let's find leaked data, make that an empty list. Uh, let's bring that above the while loop there. And then let's for character in string.printable as usual. So we can kind of get the structure for a, a blind leak. Um, we know that our character that we're gonna test should end up sending this along. So let's use an F string where we test right in here, the joined data for leak data, adding in the character that we add. Yeah. So then let's try and print like trying, let's, let's add in our join leak data again. Join leak data with the character. And let's actually print out that r.json again, just so we can see how this looks. So staff member doesn't exist, doesn't exist, doesn't exist. If we get to a capital C, will it behave? Yes. The staff member does exist. Perfect. So this is our success field. So we can say if r.json is equal to that, then we will add that character to our leak data. Leak character, leak data dot append character break so we continue to loop. And yeah, <laughs> now let's try and add in that start of that flag format and see how we do. Will we get a next character? Maybe, hopefully. Starting capital letters. Oh, a T. Okay. An H. It's going. It's going. <laughs> We have a liftoff. I don't know how long this will go. And because, oh gosh, what happened? Oh, the single quote's getting in the way. The single quote will kill it. Let's nerf some of these as we do. String dot printable dot replace the single quote with nothing. And then let's loop through our copy of printable rather than that. Uh, we know that the is kind of what we're gonna end up starting with. In some leet speak here. Uh, if it is the, then we're probably gonna end up having an underscore kind of at the end there to denote a new or another word. So let's see if that hits or if we run into another bad character. I'm surprised the ampersand didn't nerf us, but that seems okay. Yeah, underscore hit it. Okay, and then we get a three. We're cruising. I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna pause the recording, and let's see if we get any ending here or another error. <laughs> okay, um, so I got up to the extra level um, with the start of a new lead speak word with the underscore. I think that can be, I guess, flag part one, right? 
Now, how can we get that second part? Uh, this is kind of a pain because if we do leak data with this specific payload, we don't know if that second half will start with a capital C because the capital C is how we kind of knew that we were on the right one before. Um, let's try to ignore that one. So we'll test if the length of leak data is equal to zero and character is equal to capital C. Then we can continue because I want to run this exact same code again, just with this condition in here to determine, uh, hey, let's totally ignore that first entry of the self-destruct code or the, that fragment of the flag. And let's see if we can leak something else following it. So let me try that. It's whining about my tabs and spaces, so I'll convert everything to spaces there. Now let's try and run that one more time, uh, and let's see if it will start to latch on to that second self-destruct code. Hopefully. I don't know. And I'm sad. <laughs> I don't think it will. Dang it. How do we... We got the first part, but now how do we get the second part? Can... Um... So let's take this, I guess. Let's switch up the syntax. I think... We can use that like starts with syntax for like as an attribute of something. Let me let me Google. XPath starts with examples. Yeah. Now if you run it, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you run it on itself, you can use a period to denote like this object. So maybe that will work. Then we aren't specifying the leak data flag that we know thus far. Um, will that one work any better for us? Nope. How does that fail? What the heck fails there? Do I have an error? I'm sure I have an error. Let me nerf that bottom piece of code and let's print out uh, r.txt to see if this errors. Uh, let's actually exit just on that so we stop all the loops and everything. Yeah, that, that errors. Or self-destruct code starts with character. Oh, we needed to end the uh, condition or that little attribute with the square brace. How about that? Okay, that gets a valid response. So now let's toggle this back in to do the logic and check it and not exit. Let's see if we get something. Oh, get the number four. <laughs> okay. Part of me wonders if if that syntax that we just did when we did use the square braces like a, as an attribute, and that's probably totally not the right word. Um, I wonder if that would work just as well for getting the first part. Like, if we just gave it that flag prefix as again something to start with. Yeah. I don't know. We could, we could finagle it a little bit more if we wanted to, but it goes to show that I need some more practice with doing XPath stuff. Um, did we get to the end here? Are we going to hit a curly brace on this? No. We got an underscore. 
So got something else. I will uh, pause the recording and I'll get back to you once this is done leaking everything out. All right. I see we hit a curly brace. So I'm going to, I'm going to say that's the end of the flag. And this looks like access control in lead speak. So flag part two is going to be this, which means that our flag is CHTB, the extra level access control. Nice. <laughs> Putting that all together. Oh, geez. I think we did it. We got the flag. Let's, uh, let's try and submit this. Let's call it good, maybe? It looks like a flag to me. Go ahead and submit flag. Yeah. All right. Another one down. Uh, this was another kind of a showcasing of a blind injection technique, not with SQL this time, but with some XPath. And I, for one, definitely need to get smarter on XPath syntax. I'm sorry for that fumble there. But I, I think we got it. And I'm curious how we could use the second payload that we kind of finagled. Um, if, if we were to use that, which starts with again, but specifying that leak data for the beginning of our flag prefix, maybe that would work just a tad better. Um, but it worked. Like the renditions that we went through, the iterations, kind of this process that we were going through, this this loop does let us do some blind injection with XPath, and that helped us leak out the flag, leak out some other or whatever really, really we wanted out of the XML document here. So uh, even if this was all confidential, sure, we can still pull out any code that we'd like at this point. Nice. We did it. That's that. That is another challenge down, and we are going through this, ladies and gentlemen. So... I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope this was fun. Uh, I don't think I've done any videos on like XPath and XPath injection. So I should totally get smart on it <laughs> and, uh, and uh, maybe showcase some good stuff. But thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do all those YouTube algorithm things. I would love if you would like the video. Subscribe, comment, uh, hit the bell, etc. That just super duper helps out the channel. And let me know if you're liking this, uh, these style of videos, if you're liking some of these Hack the Box Cyber Apocalypse showcases but thanks so much everybody i love you i'll see you in the next video take care